everyone, it's Isabelle. So today, I'm going to be doing a special tie-dye video. Tie-dye seems to be coming back into fashion now. Speaking of fashion, I am an ambassador for the company at Bougie's. You might have seen them on Instagram. I have pictures of the item that I bought, me modeling it out, I guess. Uh, pictures that I posted to my Instagram story. So, definitely hit them up if you want some really cute clothing. Um, the set I got was a little bit see-through, but I'm just going to use them as pajamas anyways. So, it's alright. If you guys ever want, you know, a nice place to buy clothes from, go to Abuji's and use my discount code. But yeah, so let's just get into the video. Alrighty everyone, so as you can see, this is my station. I have laid some newspaper out. I have a pail full of water, probably about a third of the way full. Um, just to soak the shirts in before we start. Have the shirts. Also, I have like a little scrunchie there. You know, so we can tie-dye. Um, but yeah, make sure to you know, lay down some newspaper or do it on a surface that you don't want to get, um, that you're not afraid of getting dirty. Have all the dyes there. So we're ready to start. So first I'm going to soak everything in the pail so that everything's just a little bit soaked um, when we get the dye on and everything. I'm going to squeeze all the excess water out. Alright everyone, so now that's done, we're going to make sure that we cover our hands in gloves so that we don't get any dye on that or anything. Um, the first time I did tie-dye, I had dye on my hands for like a week because I didn't wear gloves. So I'm going to be using different techniques for each of these shirts and the scrunchie. Um, but yeah, so I'll, sh I'll show you the different kind of techniques that I use for each. Alright you guys, so first I'm going to do the scrunchie. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a color scheme and I'm going to basically just cover the whole scrunchie with color. Um, I I'm just going to choose purple, blue, and pink. So we're just going to start off with purple and just kind of like randomly, you know, I turn around and do the same thing. And then I'm going to go in with the blue. I'm gonna go with the pink. Put on the remaining gaps with the pink, just so that it gives it kind of that like pop, you know. The technique I'm going to use here is what I like to call like the crumbling technique because all you literally do is first you spit out the shirt but then you just crumble it so that only some of the shirt is exposed at one time. So you just kind of do that, you know? And for me, you can use as many colors as you want. I'm going to use this purple color again just because I want one solid color on this one. But like I said earlier, you can use as many colors as you want and make it you know, as creative as you want. But yeah, so we're just gonna do what we did earlier. You can also use rubber bands to like, keep the shirt in place. And once you're done with that, you can open it up. If you wanna add more, you can always do that. Um, so I'm going to do it again, just so that it gets more color in the middle, and also at the bottom a little bit. Add a little bit more over here, like the empty spaces. I'm going to turn it on the back, so we can also get some color on there. So for now we're just 
gonna set this one aside. Let it dry a little bit. All right, you guys, so now it's time to do the iconic spiral shirt. So what I have here is my shirt. It's all, you know, spread out or whatever. So what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna take a point between two armpits. We're just gonna pinch it up and start twirling it into a little spiral. So that's it for the tie-dyeing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let them sit out for a night and then tomorrow I will open them and see how they all came out. But yeah, so hopefully they came out well. I don't know about that spiral one. We'll see. <laughs> all right, so I'll be back tomorrow to show you what we got. Hey everyone, so now it's time to open up the shirts and see how they came out overnight. And after that, I'm gonna throw them in the washer so we can uh, you know, take out all that Axis dye and stuff. So since yesterday, the colors kind of blend together more on the scrunchie, and it looks really cute. Now it's time for our purple shirt. So overnight, the dyes bled through and spread out more on the shirt, making it look more tie-dye-ish, and it looks really nice. Alrighty guys, now it's time for the spiral, which I hope I didn't mess up. Okay, so it actually turned out the way it was supposed to, which I'm really happy about. I mean, there could have been more ink, you know, to make the spiral more defined, but I think overall it turned out really pretty. Hey everyone, just wanted to quickly end out the video. I'm really surprised as to how the spiral shirt came out. Um, I actually thought I was going to mess it up. <laughs> Remember to use my discount code if you do end up wanting to buy from at Bougie's. But yeah, I had so much fun making this video. I hope you had fun watching it. I will definitely see you guys soon.